In today's world, we are getting a lot of data. We have to analyze it and there's a lot of demand to get insights from this data. Nowadays, you would see that there's a lot of transportation system. There's a, there are lots of Internet of Things or that we call IoTs, which are getting data from the different sensors. In real time, we need all this data and we want to get informed. We want to take certain decisions based on this real time data. But how can we do that? What are the different kinds of services that we can use it? Is there any solution in Microsoft Fabric? If yes, what is it? Well, if you are also one of those who wants to get answer for these questions, then this video is for you. Please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. And I'm sure after watching this video, you will get answer for most of your questions. Hi there, my name is Ajay Kumar and you are watching me on BI Consulting Pro. In today's video, we are going to talk about real-time intelligence. What is it and how it can help you? Well, real-time intelligence simply means how you can take intelligent decisions using real-time data, but how you are going to do that's a separate thing. There are lots of services available around us, no matter what kind of platform you are using, whether you are using a cloud platform, using Microsoft Azure, AWS, GCP, or IBM, or something else. Also, it's possible using your on-premise devices as well. So that's not a point. But nowadays we are in a world of cloud technology where we are getting independence from the on-premise technology. We can work from anywhere. Also, we can track anything, anywhere. But how to track it in real time? How to get those alerts? For that, the real-time intelligence is very important. So in this video, we are going to talk about real-time intelligence in Microsoft Fabric, how it can help you and what you can learn. However, before we deep dive into this topic, please do remember that there are two parts of it. One is theoretical, another is practical. In this specific video, we are going to talk about theoretical part. In next video, we are going to talk about the practical demo or a lab. There are different versions of real-time intelligence. One may be how you can get started and another would be how you can ingest and transform it. So we are going to create multiple videos on this topic and for that you need to stay tuned with us before i move further i request you to please join our channel joining fee is very minimal that's just going to cost you one cup of coffee that is five usd per month per user this helps us to create more content for you it's not easy to create those content and i'm sure you are going to agree with me it takes a lot of investment investment in terms of time investment in terms of money but we are here to help you. We don't want that you face all those challenges, but you get all the right content for you so that you can grow in your career. So please subscribe to this channel, join BI Consulting Pro, become a member of our BI Consulting Pro family and take more advantages from our live streams. Now, enough all those talking, let's deep dive into real-time intelligence in Microsoft Fabric. Here's something about me. If you are not familiar who I am, what I do, where do I live, etc., then you can pause your screen and can get to know more about me. Not only that, you can also connect with me on LinkedIn. If you have any question, you can either directly email us or you can also just text me on my LinkedIn. Here's the agenda. In today's video, we are going to talk about data analysis pattern. Then we are going to talk about introduction to real-time analytics. Furthermore, you are going to get to know the capabilities of real-time intelligence in Microsoft Fabric. Then we would explore real-time analytics in Microsoft Fabric, such as ingesting the data, what are event hours, how you use the stream analytics, etc. So now let's first get to know what are different data patterns. Most modern data analytics solutions are based on two different patterns. One is batch, another is real-time. Batch is when you are going to gather a certain amount of data and then you are going to process it. That can be a huge amount of data. Over here on your screen, you can see that batch data analytics in which data is loaded into an analytical data store at periodic intervals as a batch operation, enabling historical analysis of data from past events. That means you get a lot of data at once and then you are going to process and store into your data hub data warehouse or database and then you are going to try to analyze that however there's another aspect of this is the real-time analytics that means you are not going to store it ideally but you want to gain the insights in real time 
For example, let's say you have a solar panel on your rooftop and you have certain sensor attached to that. Now, what you need, you need to analyze your energy generation as well as consumption. But that should happen in real time. That is real time intelligence. Not only that, you can also consider another example. Let's say you are running a fleet of trucks in the transportation business, but you need to track the temperature on each truck because maybe there are certain vegetables are going or certain other products which are temperature sensitive. If the temperature goes above or below a certain threshold, then that may ruin your business or that can have severe implementation or that can have severe implications on your business. That's why you need to monitor that. And you want to generate an alert in real time if something happens, or you want to check the temperature as well in real time. That's where real time intelligence comes into the picture. I'll give you another example of stock analysis. We all know that we want to track the stock prices which are going up, down, or what it can be, maybe some forecast as well. So over that as well, we have to track these in real time. Now, I'm sure now you get an idea what are the different data analysis patterns of available batch versus real time. What is the difference between these two and what you can get out of these two. Batch, consider if you want to analyze the historical data, real time, just in real time analysis, isn't it? Well, let's move to the next part. Over here, you would also get to know what are the different cap capabilities in Microsoft Fabric, which you can use it. So in Microsoft Fabric, we can use real-time analytics and how we can do that i'm going to let you a moment later now we are going to talk about real-time analytics over here first defining real-time analytics although i have already defined it but if you would like a certain definition then you can get it over here real-time analytics is about processing data streams as they are generated then it also provides actionable insights to you almost instantaneously. There can be a delay, which is gonna be very minimum. There are two kinds of real-time analytics we talked about. Near real-time, where there's maybe a delay of two, three seconds, or maybe up to five seconds, or exactly real-time, where delay is almost in milliseconds. Then it should also support the time sensitive decision making. Like in stock analysis, I talked about all the transportation business. There can be many more use cases about that. Now, Batch versus real-time analytics, I believe you already know. If you would like to read it, please pause your screen and get to know more about it. And do let me know if you still have any confusion about that. Now, let's talk about real-time use cases. Although I have already talked about real-time use cases, but here some more are. Why you should choose real-time analytics? That's a big question, but I have already talked about that. But in, in case you also need more details, you can read right on your screen. For example, it enables you to timely response dynamic data. Second can be ideal for scenarios like monitoring, alert, and operation intelligence. Now, common use cases like I mentioned already, live performance tracking, monitoring and financial transactions for fraud detection, or real-time supply chain monitoring and logistics. There can be so many different use cases if you would like to talk about. Now, we are gonna talk about the real-time intelligence in Microsoft Fabric. Till then, we just talked about what is real-time intelligence, what are the different data patterns, what is the difference between real-time analytics versus the batch processing, etc. But now, we are going to start focusing on Microsoft Fabric. First of all, now focus on your screen. Here's end-to-end -end solution. That means you have the different data sources. That can be your Cosmos DB, SQL Server, or any other events that's generating the real-time data. Then, you can ingest them using event streams, in real time, you can also create your dashboards, which is a real time dashboards, and you can also create the alerts using Microsoft Fabric Activator. Now, if you would like to gain more insights out of that, you can also use KQL queries over there. Whenever your data is being stored in the event house, you can run KQL queries on that so that you can perform more analysis on the top of that. And everything at last can be stored into real time hub or in a sense, in your one link. If you would like to do your further historical storage, you can also do it. Now, there are certain key features in Microsoft Fabric for real-time intelligence. And that's more or like the different components that you are gonna use. First of all, we talked about event streams. Event streams, just consider the flow of your data. These are gonna be used to capture, transform, and ingest your real-time data. Next is event house. Whenever your real-time data is coming through the event stream, 
let's consider it's a pipeline that is getting your real-time data now you need to store that data as well and for that you are going to choose event house later you can run KQL queries on the top of that as well now what are KQL queries consider it's more like SQL it's another version of SQL but in certain places you can only run KQL queries and event house is also one of those if you want to explore the data in Azure Data Analytics or Log Analytics, then also you use the KQL queries. So KQL queries are to analyze the data which you have already stored into your event house. Now, if you would like to create a dashboard on the top of that, then you can create a dashboard using Power BI. That would be your real-time dashboard. Now, additionally, as I mentioned, if you want to generate certain alerts with certain threshold, then you can also do that. But for that, you have to use Microsoft Fabric Activator. So these are the different services or the components that you can use to perform real-time analytics in Microsoft Fabric. Microsoft Fabric is a software as a solution platform. That means you ideally don't need to code anything. So with no code or low code, you can build your end-to-end -end data analytics solutions. Considering real-time analysis or analytics in Microsoft Azure versus in Microsoft Fabric. You would find that it is very easy to do in Microsoft Fabric rather than performing in Microsoft Azure. However, there's always certain limitations or there are certain features which are in preview which can be available in general going forward. But for now, you can consider that you can definitely perform real-time intelligence using Microsoft Fabric. Now let's talk about real-time intelligence or real-time data hub. What is it? The Microsoft Fabric real-time data hub provides a centralized place for managing all your real-time data sources. We are going to talk more about this when we are going to perform a demo. I'm going to show you how you can create a real-time data hub in Microsoft Fabric. You can see your all the live streams over there. That's what we are going to show you. Next is Data Hub capabilities. What you can do? Well, Data Hub provides a lot of capabilities such as how you can connect to real-time data sources and create your event streams. Then you can also subscribe to Microsoft and Azure events. You can set up activator alerts over there. Not only that, you can preview, manage, and navigate to the captured data in the event house. You can build real-time dashboards using Microsoft, Fab, using Microsoft Power BI for, from event streams. Last but not least, you can also share and endorse real-time data sources across the organization. That's what are the capabilities of Real-Time Data Hub in Microsoft Fabric. Now let's talk about ingest and transform your real-time data. Of course, we want the real-time data, but real-time data may be different than what we want to see this data on our dashboards or the way we want to analyze. In that case, we want to ingest it and transform it. We can ingest, of course, into our event house, but we, we may need to aggregate this data. Generally, whenever we are getting real-time data, we ingest that into a table. But before ingesting into the table, we also want to aggregate it. We want to provide certain fields over there. We want to load the data into a table. That's what we do. So capture, transform, and load real-time data from the different sources is going to done using event streams in Microsoft Fabric. Its functionality includes perpetually runs to ingest and process your data, then you can also define the different data sources, the transformations, and the destinations. More of this you will get to know through the practical example when we are going to get some sample stock data and we are going to transform and load into our event house. Now, one of the most critical questions is what are the different data sources are supported by Microsoft Fabric over here for real-time intelligence? Well, most of the Azure data sources are being supported over here. Even you are getting a data using Kafka or Azure Event Hub that you can ingest into this one. So external sources such as Azure Storage, Azure Event Hub, Azure IoT Hubs, Apache Kafka, CDS feeds, etc., are being supported. In case of Fabric events, changes in Fabric Workspace One Lake and Job events are also being supported over here. If you want some sample data, that's also be uh, that's also available in Microsoft Fabric, which we are going to use for our demo. Now. I'm sure that you also have this question in your mind, what kind of transformations we can do? 
of course you are not going to do all the different kinds of transformation but there are certain transformations that you can do on the real-time data for example filtering of the data you can filter the data over there you can also add or remove certain fields you can aggregate the data as i just mentioned you can group by it if you would like to group by events over certain times etc or spotting into multiple dimensions you can also do the union like you do in sql you can combine data from multiple streams with shared fields you can also create new rows for array values lastly you can also join data that is you can merge data from two streams based on certain conditions these are all the different transformations that you can perform and i think these are more than enough for real-time data now let's talk about the data destinations what can be what are the different data destinations if we are getting the real-time data well first of all it's your event house where you can query and analyze the data using kql later on you can also load this data to your data lake house next is drive streams you can redirect your event streams to another stream as well that means your one transform streams to another streams you can also use fabric activity over here that means you can automate actions based on certain threshold on stream values then lastly you can also use the custom endpoints that means you can route data to external systems or custom applications for example you have an application where you want to use the real-time data then you can ingest the data to that application using microsoft fabric so what we have learned so far we have learned that what are the different destinations what are the different transformations what are the different services provided by microsoft fabric for real-time intelligence now we are going to move forward and we are going to talk about storing and querying the real-time data as i mentioned we can store the data into the event house that means you can store your real-time data into the event house and you can query the data using kql custo query language that that is the full form of kql if you are not aware about that so purpose of this is to store your real-time data at one particular destination that would be event house and on the top of that if you want to perform certain analysis that you can do using kql now we are gonna talk about components of an event house like I mentioned, there's a KQL database underneath this that is real-time optimized data stores. It can host tables, it can store different functions, materialized views and shortcuts. Everything you can use it over here. Whenever you are going to load your data, the real-time data to event house, you are going to load it to table. That is the functionality you are going to get over there. You also get the KQL query sets. That means these are collections of queries for interacting with KQL database tables. You are going to get sports for KQL and subset of sql you can also get in sports of copilot over there if you are not familiar about copilot please watch our other videos but we are also going to create more videos on copilot in microsoft fabric so using copilot you can write kql queries basically you're going to ask your question to copilot that is going to transform your question to, to kql language and that is being run against the database and you're going to get your answer isn't it amazing so if you are not familiar about Copilot, please start learning about it now. Now talk about the visualizing real-time data. As I mentioned previously, we can directly create real-time dashboard from real-time data hub or event house. So this is going to be your single interface where you can see or visualize your real-time data. It's going to have two different tiles and those tiles are going to coming out from running the KQL queries against your event house or the tables which are in the event house database. In a way, you can see how your data is changing and even some alerts that you have generated. So in order to automating actions based on real-time insights, you can use Microsoft Fabric Activator or Activator in Microsoft Fabric. What is the purpose of it? Like I have mentioned previously a couple of times, if you have real-time data and you want to get certain information or you want to get an alert if certain things is going above and beyond your threshold value that's where it's going to perform it you can automate it and automatically whenever certain data changes is going to happen then it's going to send you an alert in real time it can send you alert on an email not only that you can also run a notebook for spark based data processing when a real-time dashboard is updated so there are lots of things that you can do over here with that said guys Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do provide us your valuable feedback. If you haven't joined this channel, please do join this channel, become a part of BA Consulting Pro family and start taking the leverage from the different benefits that we are providing you. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe it now. Share with your friends and colleagues and also keep exploring the world of data. I'm going to see you in the next video where I'm going to show you a demo on real-time intelligence in Microsoft Fabric.